Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. Today we're going to be working in Google Drawings and we're going to be working to show form versus shape. So I'll tell you what that is in just a second. Uh, to get started, we're going to start in our drive. Remember, you get to your drive by clicking this icon. When you're in your drive, you're going to see whatever you've been working on. So this is what I've been working on. Um, and now I'm going to click New, More, and Google Drawings. And when I'm in Google Drawings, the very first thing that I'm going to do is click on this untitled drawing, and I'm going to type the name of the project. So we're going to be making triangles. Um, so I'm going to put triangular forms because we're going to be working with forms today. So you're going to always type the title of the project and then type your full name and kind of just click off to the side. So now it's saved in my drive. Whenever I want to continue working on this project or turn this project in, I search in my Google Drive for this name. All right, now we're going to look at very quickly um, the difference between a shape and a form. And I will go ahead and show you that by just clicking and making a shape first. So here's a circular shape. Um, and then here is a, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and click this cylinder shape. Okay, so the difference between the shape on the left and the form on the right is my shape on the left is flat, okay? It doesn't look like it has any dimension, and it just looks like a flat circle on a flat piece of paper. If I look on the right, I see a cylinder shape. So it's got a circle on the top, but I can start to see the dimensions of this. This looks like something I would have maybe sitting on a table and I can walk around it and I can see all the sides of it. So I can see a front and a back and a top and a bottom and different the left and the right sides. Okay, so that's the difference between a shape and a form. So instead of drawing flat shapes today, we're going to be, well, we will be drawing flat shapes, but we're going to use color to make it look like they are forms instead of shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two shapes and this form that I have drawn. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to be creating this. So we're going to be using one line tool and then our color is what's going to be important here. And as always, this black arrow, this selection tool is really important to make sure that we are moving things and selecting things when we need to. So on my line tool, I'm going to click this little drop down and I'm going to choose polyline. The polyline tool is the tool that I will be using for this whole project. And the first click I make is going to be the same as my last click because I need a solid shape. And any click I make, every click I make is going to change the direction of my line. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off by going click. click, click, and then you can see I can move my line. Those first two lines I was trying to keep along the edges of the paper. And my first click and my last click need to be in the same spot. So what's happened now is I've created a triangle. If you do not see a triangle that fills in with a solid color, you need to delete it and start over. We need these solid shapes. So if I accidentally go click, 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 that is not a solid shape. I don't see that black outline right here, okay? So that's not a solid shape. I need to go up to my undo button and undo that, or I could select it and delete it. Either way will work. But I need to have a solid shape because we're gonna be adding color. And when we're adding color, if your shape is not solid, you won't be able to add that color correctly. So in other words, if you don't do it right the first time, you're going to have to redo it and do a lot of work after. Once you get the hang of using the polyline tool, it really starts to um, become like second nature. Okay, so now I'm going to make three sides of this triangle. And I'm going to go click, 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 click. And I want it to be as close as possible. In fact, there's a little bit of a um, space right there that I wish I wouldn't have created. It's not the end of the world, though, so I'm going to keep going. So 
I'm going to make a third side. Click, 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 and click. Remember, my first and my last click are going to be in the same spot. So you can see now even more that um, shape that I have. So I could delete this and restart. Um, if I want to delete something, I'm going to go to my black arrow, and I'm going to click on the shape I want to delete and press backspace on my keyboard. That will delete it. So I will go ahead and go back to my polyline, and I'm going to make a new one by click, 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 click. Okay, so now I've got three sides of this shape that I've created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to add color to this. So I'm bouncing back between my polyline tool and my select arrow. So I'll click my select arrow. And I'm just going to click on one of those three shapes. I'm going to go up to my paint bucket, my fill color tool, and I will select gradient. And when I do that, I'm going to be able to create a gradient instead of a solid color. So right now I'm going to choose, let's choose a dark blue. And then I'm going to select a second shape. And I'm going to choose a very light blue. Well, I have to do gradient first. Then I will choose a very light blue. And then I'm going to go back to my third shape to click on it, select it. Then I'm going to go to gradient and choose, let's see, let's choose this blue. So I'm getting some, you see this isn't a solid color. I'm getting some variation. It's created a gradient. Um, I can change my colors if I want to by just selecting with my black arrow. You can go back in and kind of select my different colors. Okay, so I can go around and experiment with my colors and what I'm doing here. Now, what I'm going to do for this project is fill up my whole page with polyline created triangles. And then I'm going to go in and add these gradient colors so it looks like I've got a whole bunch of forms on my paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing and I'm going to fast forward my drawing so we can see the end result and talk about it. Remember in this video, if you ever get stuck or you ever have questions, you can pause the video, you can rewind the video, um, you can go back and forth, you can watch it a hundred times if you need to, but it is always here for whenever you need to stop, pause, rewind, and keep moving. So I'm going to start making these and we will fast forward.
Okay, so we filled color in. You can see there are a couple spaces that are um, white here, which is why it's really important to try and make sure you cover and overlap your shapes a bit. Um, you can go in and now add these gradient colors to all of your shapes. I chose a black and white color scheme, and I might want to go in with my select arrow and just kind of select and maybe move a couple shapes to where I want them. You know, just move them around and make a couple little um, corrections, if you will. Um, and you can use any color scheme for this. I want you to have fun on this project. When you get stuck or have questions, comment, um, ask me, and we'll get them figured out. Um, and when you have completed this, the very last step, there's a black outline on all of these shapes. I prefer not to see the black outline. So um, I'm going to click the select arrow and I'm going to just click off the page in the upper left corner. I'm going to click and drag and that selects every shape on here. It looks like it didn't select it though. So let me click and drag. There we go. Um, uh, so what I did was I needed to make sure when I selected I was down in the corner of the page, not off the page. So I've selected every shape, and now I'm going to go up to this border color. I'm going to click it and click Transparent and click off to the side. And what that did is that took away my outline. Um, I just prefer it without the outline. I also see that I should have been much more careful and overlapped my shape so there's not that... Um, empty white space. So be careful when you're doing that. Have fun making this project and um, go get started.